The night was dark, and the forest of the green home was alive with the sounds of the wild. Around a lone campfire, Ergit, Mira, and Sita sat, resting after a long day's hike. As the flames flickered, their minds drifted back to the previous night, where they had gathered in front of the stone lady, an ancient statue of an elf maiden whose memory had faded into legend. To the Longfang clan, this statue was not just a relic, but a sacred magical formation. A connection to the spirit world known as the Dream, where the first she lady was said to have been born. At this gathering, Ergit, Mira, and Sita were entrusted with a critical mission to find the missing child, Phelan, who had been abducted by a malevolent spirit. The clan's shaman, Kaelin Whispering Shade, had received a vision from the spirits, showing these three young adventurers to follow the wind in order to find Phelan. Sita, Kaelin's apprentice, was also given a secret task to join forces with two others, the outcast elf child ranger Minnow, and someone known as the Lady of the Dead Tree far to the north. Back at the campfire, as they discussed their day's journey, they were startled by the sudden appearance of Minnow. He had been observing the Long Fang camp and witnessed the Dark Spirit's attack. Eager to prove himself and confident in his tracking skills, Minnow joined their quest. After a brief rest with Mira on the first watch, the group was awakened by the presence of an owl bear prowling nearby. Deciding it was best to avoid a confrontation, they watched as the creature eventually moved away. The next day, their path led them northward until they reached a ravine with a flowing river below and a solitary wooden bridge spanning its breadth. On the other side, a giant fallen sequoia had been hollowed out to serve as a home. From within, a gentle voice sang in Gnomish. Sita approached and knocked on the finely carved door, which opened to reveal Olena, a kindly old gnome woman who seemed to know Sita by name. Olena invited them in, explaining she was aware of their quest and offering her help. As she packed her gear, including a staff topped with a skull and accompanied by her black cat familiar, Mr. Bones, Olena shared that the spirits, especially those of the dead, had spoken to her about their journey. After another day of travel north of Olena's home, Mira, scouting ahead, discovered a group of bogards, aggressive frog-like people. These bogards are unusually far south into Long Fang territory. The Boggards were engrossed in a heated argument near a large moss-covered tree that spanned a river gorge. With the element of surprise on their side, Mino climbed a tree to take aim with his bow while the others positioned themselves in the underbrush, ready to strike. Just as the attack was about to commence, the session ended, leaving a palpable sense of excitement and anticipation for their first combat encounter.